Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and uh, uh, welcome back to this next video and uh, in this video I'll be uh, talking about the uh, functions of the liver uh, in the uh, previous video I've told you about the uh, function of the gallbladder and uh, how the gallbladder is actually helping you in the uh, process of the digestion of the fat and its absorption by utilizing the bile that is coming from the liver so in this particular video i'll be focusing on the liver uh, which is uh, one of the most important organ in the body now the liver is the largest solid organ in the body and uh, it performs a variety of functions uh, it removes the toxins from the body blood supply it maintains a healthy blood sugar level it regulates the blood clotting and it performs hundreds of other vital functions and uh, if you look at the uh, location of the uh, liver uh, it is just above the uh, gallbladder and it close association with the uh, stomach so uh, if you talk about the functions of the liver uh, that perform over 500 vital functions uh, and in this particular video i'll be uh, uh, briefly focusing on the most important function that it is performing in the body uh, one of the important functions of the liver is the production of the albumin and uh, albumin is a very important protein because it helps keep the fluid in the bloodstream from leaking into the surrounding tissues and the albumin is also a carrier for uh, various hormones the vitamins and enzymes through the body so this important hormone albumin that is produced by the liver which in turn perform a variety of functions the liver is also responsible for the production of the bile and bile is a very is a fluid that is very critical to the digestion and absorption of fats in the small intestine and uh, i have a detailed video on the function of the bile uh, uh, that is actually concentrated and stored in the gallbladder and then that is released into the uh, duodenum of the small intestine and i'll share the uh, link in the description uh, another important function of the liver is that it is going to uh, remove uh, all the uh, you can see bad stuff in the uh, in the blood like the toxin the byproducts and the other harmful substances because all of the blood that leave the stomach and the intestine that pass through the liver and the liver is actually performing a filtration process over there and during that particular process it is going to remove the toxin the byproducts or other harmful substances that may be there uh, in the food or they may be produced during the process of the digestion the liver is also responsible for regulating the uh, level of the amino acids uh, and you all know that the amino acids are very important for the production of proteins that simply means that the liver also helps maintain a healthy protein level in the body and the uh, liver makes sh make sure that the amino acid level in the bloodstream that remain healthy because if the amino acid level is not healthy that means that the production of the proteins in the body can be compromised and that is not a good thing for the body it also regulates the uh, blood clotting uh, so blood clotting coagulants they are created or they are produced using the vitamin k uh, and this vitamin k can only be absorbed with the help of the bile uh, which is actually a fluid that is released by the liver the uh, liver is also uh, responsible for uh, resisting infection and as part of the filtering process the liver is going to remove any bacteria from the bloodstream uh, another important function of the liver is uh, that it is going to store the vitamins and the minerals. Uh, for example, the, it stores significant amount of the vitamin A, the vitamin D, the vitamin E, K and B12 as well as iron and copper. And these uh, vitamins and minerals, they are very important. Uh, they have got very important functions in the body. For example, if you talk about the iron, that is very much important in the uh, production of the uh, hemoglobin in the body, which is actually a carrier of the uh, oxygen in the body, thereby producing uh, energy uh, in your body for physiological functions. Uh, similarly, the other vitamins, they are playing as uh, cofactors for different kind of the enzymes. So the uh, liver is actually helping you in all those functions uh, by storing a significant amount of these vitamins and minerals in the body. Uh, the liver is also responsible for the processing of the glucose and the liver uh, remove the excess glucose from the bloodstream and it stored it as a glycogen. So when the uh, level of the glucose in the blood is high, the liver is going to store the high glucose level in the form of the glycogen. 
but at the same time when there is shortage of the blood glucose uh, the glycogen is going to get converted into the glucose and that particular glucose can then be used for the uh, production of the energy when needed so the uh, liver is also helping uh, you can say uh, it's acting as a storage house for the glycogen uh, to be used in hard times uh, the last organ of the uh, uh, the, the last organ of your digestive system that is the large intestine and I briefly I'm briefly going to talk about the large intestine so the large intestine is wider and shorter than the small intestine uh, it's approximately like 1.5 meter or 5 foot in length uh, if you compare this with the small intestine the uh, small intestine is like uh, 6.7 to 7.6 meter or 22 to 25 feet in length for the small intestine so the large intestine as compared to the small intestine is wider and shorter uh, in the uh, upper half of the large intestines enzymes they are released from the small intestine uh, which actually complete the process of the digestion and the bacteria in the large intestine they produce the B vitamins including the uh, vitamin B12 the thymine and the riboflavin and these bacteria are also responsible for the production of the vitamin K. Uh, the primary function of the large intestine is the absorption of the water and electrolytes from the uh, digestive residues. So when the food that enters from the small intestine into the large intestine, majority of the food that has been digested that had been observed uh, but the water content and the electrolytes they still move into the large intestine so the large intestine is going to help in the absorption and the electrolytes from uh, that digestive residues and this process of the absorption uh, usually take about 24 to 30 minutes and the large intestine is also responsible for the storage of the fecal matter until it can be expelled from the body this is the uh, structure of the uh, or the anatomy of the large intestine i'm not going into the detail of that but that is not the scope of this particular video but you have got the ascending colon you have got the descending colon the food is going to move in this particular direction it is going to reach to the uh, rectum and then expel from the body through the uh, anus now the churning movements of the large intestine they gradually expose the digestive residues to the absorbing walls and when they are exposed to the uh, absorbing walls the water and the electrolytes they are reabsorbed in the body for use uh, in the uh, different functions of the body now a progressive and more vigorous type of the movement which is uh, known as the uh, gastrocolic reflex that occur only two or three times a day uh, that is going to propel the uh, material towards the anus so the waste material that is propelled uh, towards the anus by this gastrocolic reflexes uh, which occur only two or three times in the uh, in a day now if you talk about the common problems of the large intestine that include the inflammation uh, such as the colitis the uh, diverticulosis and the abnormal growth such as the b9 or the uh, malignant tumor so this was a general uh, overview uh, this uh, series of videos for the general overview of the digestive systems of the human how that works and how that helps in the process of the digestion for the production of energy and other functions in the body uh, in the next video i'll be talking about the uh, absorption of the carbohydrates that uh, how the carbohydrates which are present in the food they are actually absorbed in the body and then they are used for the uh, different kind of the processes in the body so uh, if you like the video please subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share it with your friends